Thanos loving dudes and dudettes, Toysh is here, and tonight we're going to be talking about, well, to give you an idea, I had posted a photo earlier on my Instagram of uh, exactly what do all these action figures have in common, and to be quite honest, the answer is simply, they don't stand very well. Special thanks and shout out to Towering Toys, you can go ahead and follow them on uh, Instagram, at Towering Toys, or go check out their website, I have their link listed below. They sent over these uh, stands that work perfectly for certain figures, primarily Marvel Legends and Star Wars The Black Series. They're about two inches in diameter, and they're a nice, hefty, you know, thick stand. And for someone that doesn't really use stands this much, um, it's an interesting, you know, kind of learning thing for me at least. And so we're going to take a look at uh, how well they work with Marvel Legends, Star Wars The Black Series, and we're going to go through a bunch of different companies and see if they're compatible as well. So without further ado, let's take it away and check out some action figure stands. So let's do the Stormtrooper first. Now, he does have peg holes, so that's a good start. <laughs> it's funny to me how I, I never really even realized how many figures don't actually have peg holes. But as you can see, they fit nice and snug right there. And boom, you now have a standing Stormtrooper. A little bit uh, with these stands, though, they, they do sit uh, you know higher up than uh, the typical um, you know, the way, whatever foot you have on there, one foot out kind of position, but I think it looks great, you know, right then and there, you got the, uh, the Stormtrooper, so you're looking great already. Now that we got the Stormtrooper all set up, let's start it off with Marvel Legends, let's do Black Bolt, and he does, of course, have peg holes on the bottom of his feet, as you can see, it's a little snug on that side, let's try our luck on this side, and boom, goes right in, so that's pretty good. And like I said, you're going to have to finagle him a little bit just to kind of have him in line. But, you know, there you go. That's his, uh, his toe tapping. Uh, it, it, don't hate on me right now. We're, we're just doing this for fun. All right? we're, we're, <laughs> there's no real posing going on. Anyways, now that we've stood a, uh, a Marvel Legends male figure, but how did the female figure stack up? So let's take Shuri here. Go ahead and grab ourselves another stand. Now she, you know, of course has peg holes. Just kind of sit it in there. That does not want to see uh, want to go in that one. And no, uh, so that is a negative. That is a negative on a uh, Marvel Legends female figure. These stands will not fit them. So <laughs> sure is one of the most like difficult at least for me god one of those difficult figures to stand but now oh, she's standing now so uh what did we learn star wars the black series that works out great marvel legends male figures that seems to work out great too marvel legends female figures that's going to be a no-go and i don't see you know any other figures uh you know female wise they're going to have you know be better uh, peg holes unless later on they come out with different sorts of feet and stuff like that because for the most part most female feet on these figures are kind of all in the same, uh, you know, as with uh, Marvel Legends male action figures. In conclusion, uh, male Marvel Legends and Star Wars figures were good to go. But now let's take a look at, you know, various other companies and see what we can do with these stands as well. All right, this was a fun one. God, I remember this toy from when I was a little kid. This actually is the toy from when I was a little kid. A little fun fact. This is the uh, the Fright Features Peter Vankman from Kenner Toys, 1988, and he still works. That's so rad. <laughs> uh, he does have peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Hey, all right, here's hoping I got a nice Ghostbuster collection set up. So, and they do fall over a lot. So let's see. Uh, no, it yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit more star shaped. Has little divots and stuff in there. So that's not gonna that's not gonna go in smooth. So sorry, Kenner Toys, 1988, real Ghostbusters. You're not gonna work. And up next we have Leonardo from the Playmates Toys 2002 Ninja Turtle Incarnation. And I, I actually like this cartoon. That was one of the, the closest uh, we got to the uh, original comic book, which I'm a huge, huge fan of. I even have issue number one. It's, God, it's fantastic. Anyway, it's printed on old, like, newspaper because they didn't want to uh, they didn't want to spend the extra money, which is so awesome. You can't even polybag it because it's, uh, the, it's the wrong dimensions and such. But let's take a look at, you know, what we're here to see. <laughs> Uh, he does have peg hole, uh, peg holes on the bottom of his feet, and these are definitely not going to work because 
They're all kinds of loose. Yeah. Anyways. All right. Sorry that that play uh, Playmates Toys 2002 TMNT figures not gonna work. Next up is the Toy Biz, old 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 Toy Biz, uh, the Sugar Man. And God dang, this guy is uh, he's such a great sculpt. Creepy as heck. But uh, but he's definitely cool. He's from 1996. So if that gives you any idea of how old he is. Uh, it's pretty good condition. Now he, of course, yeah, he's got the peg holes. Let's see if this works on him. And again, a little bit too big, at least on uh, on the bigger figures of uh, of old Toy Biz. So that, and he's so hard to like stand sometimes. All right, Sugar Man, Toy Biz, 2006. No bueno. All right, up next we have 1993 Galoob, and if you know who this is. That just makes you even more awesome. We got the biker mice from Mars, and God, I, I, the show was so like dumb, but just the the, the idea behind it. I mean, it's a total rip off of Ninja Turtles, but it, it was pretty cool. I just want to show this off real fast. Yeah, he's you, you used to have little motorcycle helmets, and then you you push these down so you could actually put the helmet on. But I don't know. It's pretty <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yes, he does have peggles on the bottom of his feet, and yes, we do have stands. So let's see how this works. Hey, oh, hey, there we go. That works. Nice. Uh, he, he's not going to obviously be able to uh, kind of, um, you know, just with the articulation from 1993. But, hey, that looks pretty good. Uh, I'll definitely be sporting that on the uh, on the shelf. So, that works great. All right, cool. Galoob Toys from 1993. You were ahead of your time. Way to go. All right, moving on. Up next, we got the Funko Toys Rick and Morty Mr. Meeseeks. And I love this figure. I love this the show, actually. It's so rad. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, okay. He doesn't even have peg holes. So there we go. That's not even going to work for him. He's out. Funko, you're out. Start start putting holes on the bottom of your feet. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Snarl from the brand new Power of the Primes from the Transformers series. And let's take a look. This is, no, this is not even going to be a thing. Look at this. His entire foot is one giant peg hole so power of the primes transformers i think in general no bueno not gonna work and straight out of the last jedi before doing his whole force projection move we have old man luke skywalker fresh off his journey on octo island and this is from hasbro of uh well basically i'm sure it's 2017 but a little bit of 2018 thrown in there as well um the site does list these as being compatible with three and three quarter inch uh, Star Wars figures, but I don't think that this is going to work because, again, look at the size of the stand, look at the size of the hole, <laughs> and his foot is basically, unless uh, they're going for a few Star Wars figures that are a little bit older here and there, but um, yeah, I, I mean, I picked this figure basically because this is a good standout, so um, as far as I'm concerned, no, it will not work on Star Wars, three and three quarter action figures, doesn't this look like the... <laughs> I got him set up as like, you know, get off my lawn. And a recent find at a thrift store lately. Uh, this is the DC Universe Classics by Mattel. We got old Superman here. And let's see. Nope. <laughs> he does not even have peggles on the bottom of his feet. That is hilarious. It is so funny to me how many figures don't actually have peggles. That's, that's pretty wild. All right. Anyways, Mattel, DC Universe Classics. You're out of here. And up next, we have a 2012... Playmates Toys TMNT Michelangelo figure, and if you're wondering why he's in his red bandana, it's because I am a big fan of the old school Ninja Turtles, and I painted them myself. This is my best attempt, and I think he came out pretty cool. A lot of art supplies uh, were used in the making of this figure, and he's got real change. Woo. Anyways, uh, he has peggles on the bottom of his feet. They are quite large, just like the 2002 uh, Ninja Turtle figure that we already looked at, but let's check it out just in case. And ooh, this actually works. It's like peg, peg vision. No, that, obviously not. This is not gonna work. Sorry, Mikey, you are out of here. Not gonna work with 2012 TMNT figures. Up next, we have the Marvel Select Zombies. Marvel Zombies, which is just the most terrifying thing ever. It, it, those. Those comics are, they're so just, I mean, I love them, but they're, god dang, they're just, ugh, ugh, god, being stuck in that universe would just suck. Anyways, you have one of the worst uh, standing of them all, so that's why I really hope these stands work with him. Um, he does kind of get, like, the zombie pose. That is totally unintentional right now. That is how I have to kind of pose him 
because he doesn't have ankle rocker or anything like that. So let's get him going. He does have peg holes on the bottom of his feet. He does have a removable helmet. I love that face. That's straight out of the uh, comic book cover. He didn't look like that in the actual comic book itself, but that one cover, that's that's the artwork to go off of. I'm telling you, they did it right. All right, let's see. Does it work? Uh, yes, I think we have a match. Marvel Select, Marvel Zombies. Like I said, you kind of have to get them in. Well, you know what? I take it back. Let's try the other side. I, I feel like it's just because of the, the weight that he's putting. There we go. That works. Very cool. Let's see. Let's give it the old. Usually he falls like a no, <laughs> no problem. Oh, man. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, now, I will say, you know, while he works, and it, it is a it's a very snug fit. It's not just goes in really easily. It might not work with every single Marvel Select figure, but it definitely works with the uh, Marvel Zombies Magneto. So I'm assuming, yeah, I think would be good uh, as far as just Marvel Select would go. All right. Moving on. And up next, we have the Marvel Knights, Netflix, Marvel Legends, Build-A-Figure, The Man-Thing. And, you know, like I said, these are listed as being able to work with six-inch scale figures, Marvel Legends, Star Wars. So, this being a Build-A-Figure, let's see how he stacks up. He does have Peggles, obviously. And... Uh, uh, let's see. We have... No, no, no. It's not going to stay. It's just kind of, uh, but you don't want to also kind of shove these in there and then, you know, kind of ruin the plastic too. So just be careful. He also has kind of like a circular, uh, divot cut in there. So it's not going to go in smoothly. So unfortunately this build a figure is not going to work out. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to say no to Marvel legends, build a figures. And up next, we have the 2017 Super Mario Maker from Jack Pacific's World of Nintendo. I love this figure. It was one of my top ten last year. But uh, uh, it, unfortunately, um, he, while he does, he's a little wobbly and stuff. And he does fall over if you if you kind of knock the shelf just because he's very uh, top heavy and little tiny legs. But he doesn't have peg holes, so unfortunately, Jack Pacific, if you want to start putting uh, holes in the bottom of your figure's feet, that would be amazing. And up next, we have the Moose Toys, the Grocery Gang Pizza Face. And he, let's see, well, he doesn't even have peg holes on. He is really tough to stand if you want to actually pose him. I like the articulation, like I said in my last YouTube video review. But, uh, yeah. yeah, you won't be able to use these stands with him. And we have Arnold Schwarzenegger's Eternal Nemesis, the Predator from the original Predator movie. And this little gem is made by NECA Toys. And as you can tell, he is definitely all NECA. I will say though, uh, well, this happened a long time ago when I actually got him. But when I pulled him out of the box, he uh, he had his little thing broken off, and it wasn't it wasn't in the box. So I was very sad about that. Neca, I'm very very sad. I'm all torn up. Anyways, <laughs> let's see uh, if he's got peg holes. He does. It's crazy. And let's see if these stands work well. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. As you can see, it kind of. It kind of went on this one. This one's a little bit more open than the right side. But, and it does stay. And let's see. The only thing is, though, if he starts to go, it's not going to hold. So, you know what? Uh, NECA does make some really fantastic stands. I, that of all the stands, you know, unless they come with an actual action figure, like the old Marvel Legends and such like that. Uh, I do own a couple of them, and they hold my alien figures quite well. And I'll show them to you later on in this video. But, uh... As far as these stands working for a NECA Toys Predator, no, it's not going to work. And up next, we have the Mattel Ghostbusters line, and we have the very own Egon Spangler, which is always one of my favorite Ghostbusters. He does have peg holes on the bottom of his feet. I have high hopes for this one. Let's do it. It's a perfect match. Oh, my God. <laughs> Finally, we got one. All right. There you go. These will support the Ghostbusters from Mattel. That is awesome. These ones in particular always fall over on my uh, Ghostbusters shelf, so we are good to go with these. Awesome sauce. All right, moving on. And up next, we have the Bandai Movie Realization Tamashi Nations Stormtrooper. And this guy, this is the one that comes with the, the sweet, sweet drum and the really cool flag. Uh, and he's blowing like a conch shell. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, this is one of my favorite of that bunch. I don't, um, I don't 
you know, feverishly collect these. I have a few, and I actually have a Darth Maul uh, on its way, so that'll be interesting to see. And let's see, he... I'm gonna say no. Yep. No peg holes. That's... I, I was wondering, you know, there's such a nice figure. I wish they came with, uh, with stands or something, you know, just to keep them a little more stable, because if these things fall over, I... Uh, man, I fear for their safety. They have such little brittle parts and, and things like that they they're fantastic figures if if you just get one you won't be disappointed and get any of them really because they're all awesome anyways moving on and up next we have the NECA toys alien covenant the main xenomorph that we see in the movie and um god I, I love this figure it's it's one of my favorite alien sculpts you know totally we worked from the uh the ground up the nice thing about it he does have peg holes right, where are they? Right there on the tips of his feet. And let's see if these stands work. Now, like I had said, and I'll be showing you later, uh, I do use uh, NECA's um, stands to think. Uh, this is a definite no-go. It's the hole is way too small. So I will continue to use NECA stands. And yeah, it's, uh, it's not really disappointing, but he will not be compatible. Up next is a Diamond Select and Disney, actually, this was the Walgreens exclusive from uh, last Christmas that they did along with uh, the other Jack Skellington and Sally. And the um, these figures actually came with their own stands, which I actually really like. They kind of, they peg in right into the back of the figure. They hold them well. So, I mean, look at the legs. They're, that's not going to support anything. He actually does uh, not. <laughs> I totally thought that he did have little tiny pickles. He doesn't have pickles, so you don't have anything to worry about. But if you got these figures, then you already have a stand. But, uh, yeah, as far as um, these types of figures, uh, no, they will not work. <laughs> I just thought it would be funny to start with this uh, this angle. Up next, we have the Marvel Legends 12-inch. We're just going to call them icons. But they're the new icons that have uh, been released lately. This is the Iron Man figure. Hey. I uh, I don't have high hopes for this. He does have peggles on the bottom of his feet. Let's see. They look a little large compared to the stands. And I'm 100% right. If they were just... They fit perfectly. But if they were just... Like the, you know, the peg holes on the feet were just a little bit snugger. That would be great. These... I mean, they don't have a hard time standing up mostly. But if you get one that falls, it's just a domino effect with these things. So... Fortunately, Marvel Legends, uh, most recent icons, 12-inch figures, not going to work. Now, up next, we have the McFarlane Toys equivalent to a Marvel Legends highly articulated 10th anniversary uh, Spawn figure. And uh, I'm hoping that because he, you know, he's, you know, on the lines of articulation with Marvel Legends and such, that he, he does have peg holes. So let's see if it fits. Awesome. If you're wondering, I gave him... One of uh, Polaris's uh, energy effects from the second X-Men wave. All right, so let's check him out. Ah, this is one of my favorite figures. He's such a bulky, heavy figure. There's the peg hole. Here's the stand. And this would be great if it worked because his cape really, really brings him down. No, it's too small. Dang it all. Let's see this one. No. Gah. Not going to work. No bueno. No bueno for spawn. Just like... His movie not coming out anytime soon. <laughs> Anyways, McFarlane, we want to see it. Get it made. Let's do this. All right, moving on. Heading back into the NECA Toys foray, we have the brand new Kratos from God of War 4, basically, even though it's just being called God of War. But if you saw my last review, you would see that this figure is simply amazing. And I, he just actually fell over. And I was so, I heard, you know, you when you hear a figure fall, and you're just like, oh my god, it's, what's missing? Is the head pop off? Is the foot break off? Oh man, he's fine, thank god. But he's a good contender for a, um, for a stand because he does uh, like to topple over a lot. So he does have peggles on the bottom of his feet. And let's see, please god, this figure really needs it. Oh, oh, let's see, let's see. It's in there, it's definitely in there. That's what she said. <laughs> He works! He fits great! Look at that! Kratos from God of War 4, you're a good contender for these stands. And last but not least, we have the Mattel DC Multiverse Batman. The the new 52 Batman, actually. He's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Let's see if these work. And... Ah! It stays. It doesn't stay completely by this side. Um, no, I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna say no on this one. I thought that was gonna be a for sure thing. No, it, uh, 
these stands won't work with DC Multiverse. So it's, it's too tight. The the boots are too tight. The stands will not work with DC Multiverse, the newer figures. I'm not that one that's big on stands in general. I've only had a few uh, over the years or, you know, if figures like Marvel Legends or Spawn or something like that have come with physical bases or something. That's pretty much what I've used, though with uh, NECA I have gotten into displaying them with their NECA stands for like Alien and all their various figures. And then I have this big huge Alien that I have and the poor guy, he doesn't have a foot, he, you know, he was an old McFarlane uh, Alien anyways. And uh, I use an old doll stand that I got from a thrift store, so it works out pretty well. So what did we learn today? Well, we went through a lot of different companies, a lot of different figures, saw a lot of different peg holes on the bottom of their figures' feet, saw a lot of, uh, you know, no peg holes on the bottom of figures' feet. And that's okay. That's, you know, not really a big deal. A lot of these figures that I had, you know, they, they're not very good at standing. That's why I, I specifically uh, picked them. I am happy that these stands work well with Marvel Legends and Star Wars The Black Series because that's kind of two of my, you know, most favorite lines to collect. I, I get them all. They're they're my, you know, top, uh, top, top lines, top of the line lines, and they're both made by Hasbro. No, uh, no shameless uh, promotion there. <laughs> You're welcome, Hasbro. Thank you very much for, uh, you know, sending these over. Towering Toys, you guys are great. Um, I was really looking forward to testing these out especially being someone who doesn't use stands that much, except for, you know, when uh, certain figures just cannot stand on their own, Aliens NECA. Um, <laughs> that being said, I'm looking forward to getting the new uh, the new Kenner um, Aliens line that was shown off at Toy Fair. Damn, that Snake and Scorpion Aliens look fantastic. Anyways, uh, again, go head over to Towering Toys, give them a look. They have the uh, the website listed below in the description. Go ahead and click on it. Take a look at these stands. Buy a bag for yourself. You know, check it out. The only you can take my opinion just so much. Got to try them out for yourself. They're not that expensive. Get a bag of ten. Go ahead and uh, and and you know just try them out. That's all I'm gonna say. Also, this March third weekend, Marvel and Disney will be doing their uh, Hero Axe initiative. Uh, hashtag Hero Axe, and they want to see your Marvel collections. They want to see. Uh, there, you know, what you find in stores, did you find Thanos, did you find the new Avengers Infinity Wave, and I want to show them off. I'll create a cool video of all your guys' finds and everything else. Go ahead and send them to me. Send the pictures of whatever you get. Have some fun with it. Maybe you got a cup of coffee using the uh, Thanos Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, go ahead and send them to me on my email, toyshiz at gmail.com. That way it just makes it easier for me to uh, kind of grab the photos. If you do it through Instagram, a lot of them don't save because of... Uh, the two different photo settings so it's just uh, a lot easier to collect them and like I said I'll make a sweet sweet video the hero acts uh, initiative is actually a really great support cause you know to for children that are sick or in ailment and everything else it's uh, it's a good cause Marvel and Disney even Hasbro they're gonna be donating a lot of money towards that so that's it's fantastic you know I'm really happy to be uh, you know a part of that and just in even in buying you know toys you're a part of that so that's you know that's really a good thing um, you don't even have to, you know, do anything fantastic. Just have fun and, you know, be nice, be nice to your kids, take them out, get them a toy. I'm sure they'll love you for it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for, uh, for watching this video. I hope it was entertaining. I had fun making it. Go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like, uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can always find out whenever I post new and exciting videos like new figures, <laughs> you need to use stands. This was interesting. Come on, don't, don't, don't even. Anyways, uh, <laughs> also, if you are on Instagram or Twitter, go ahead and follow me at Toy Shiz. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I want you to have a great, fantastic Infinity War weekend, and I will see you guys all soon. Adios.